Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're talking about HTTP3. Uh, what it does for us, do we need to make any changes to our setup, our configuration, our development? Uh, I'm certainly looking at HTTP2. That gave us the ability to pull down as many, uh, well, to have as many connections as we want rather than be limited to six. Uh, and that opened up possibilities for having much more granular files rather than just one monolithic bundle. Um, HTTP2 also had web push. Um, that, has, that didn't really take off, but that was meant to speed things up as well. Um, but you, you could certainly change the way you configured a website for um, HTTP2. Now, HTTP3, let's, let's get back to that. That's what we're talking about here today. Um, and what does it offer us? Well, there's, there's three main improvements that it provides. The main one being it, um, it mitigates something called head of line blocking. So what can happen today is if you lose a packet, then the TCP connection will stop and you'll have to restart and, and that will block everything. So if you lose a packet, a packet associated with image one, all your other images, 10 images say whatever you've got coming down, they will also stop downloading as well. Um, so that is quite a problem, certainly in environments where you are frequently losing packages. Um, you know, if you've got a stable network connection, not so much a problem, but it will certainly help um, in situations where you haven't. So yeah, head of line blocking, that is resolved with HTTP2. Um, it does this because it, each of the streams now is aware, the, the protocol is aware of each of the streams, so it can tell which one the packet was lost from. Um, it does this, does this because it's not no longer using TCP. Um, HTTP3 is built on UDP and a protocol called QUIC, Q-U-I-C, and that's got a process that, that allows it to have this knowledge and only stop the stream that lost the packet. So yeah, big improvement there for uh, environments where you may be losing packets. Um, the initial connection, uh, when you create a TCP connection, you've got say like four to six handshakes or something, round trips. Um, with HTTP3, that's down to two, I think. So, it's you know, it's not going to be incredibly noticeable, but it is, uh, it is an improvement. Your initial connection to a website will be quicker because of that. It will just potentially be imperceivable. That. Um, and what's the other thing? Yeah, the other thing is your connection ID is not based on your IP and port address. So that means if you flick from, say, your wired to a mobile or to a Wi-Fi connection, that can be seamless. You can still retain the same connection. Whereas on HTTP2, it, because it would be a different um, port number IP, uh, you'd have to re reconnect. And so you get that initial um, connection issue as well there. So three main improvements there. Uh, <laughs> How do we how do we use it? Well, in terms of developing a website, we're not really going to change anything. It's not, like I said, it's not like HTTP two where it gives you potentially different ways of doing things, where you could push files or you could have more granular files. Uh, for it should pretty much just be in the background. It's live in um, Safari, I think. Yeah, live in Safari at the moment, the time of recording. Uh, January 2021, in case you're quite a long way in the future. Um, and it's behind a flag in the other browsers. So I can show you how we can turn it on. Um, if we're in Chrome here, and we go into Chrome flags, and if we look up quick, then we can enable this in here and relaunch. Now, with that in place, uh, anyone that's, any server that is HTTP3 enabled uh, will be able to send to us using that protocol. So it's uh, it was originally developed by Google. So a good one to go to would be uh, just even um, google.com. And if I bring up the dev tools here, and let's pop this onto the right. 
and okay so straight away if we look here in the protocol now that I've enabled it we can see these H3 connections uh, I'm not quite sure the difference between 29 and Q05 but they will be using HTTP 3 uh, and you'll be uh, receiving those benefits already so not necessarily something you want to turn on at the moment but uh, if you want to have a play with it you can turn it on there and it should at some point in the future be enabled by default um, but yeah there you go a quick overview of that and basically uh, the things that, you know we're not really have to change anything as a developer um, but these uh, the, the benefits will be reaped by all the users uh, of your website uh, so there you go HTTP 3 little overview give me a thumbs up if you like that uh, thumbs down if you didn't uh, don't forget to click that subscribe um, and change the alert icon to all and you'll get future updates uh, thanks very much for watching see you next time bye